WDM systems use different wavelengths to transmit multiple optical signals over a single optical fiber. But they have several technically difficult aspects, including non-uniform optical signal power and chromatic dispersion. NTT Photonics Laboratories is conducting research into technologies that use the strength of planar light wave circuits and free space optics to solve these problems. Currently, free space optics constitute the main approach for controlling optical signals by wavelength. But they contain many parts that are large, expensive, and require high precision tuning. On the other hand, planar lightweight circuits are compact, low in cost, and highly reliable. But unlike free space optics, it is impossible to control their optical characteristics. Accordingly, we have developed a new module that uses PLC for wavelength multiplexing and demultiplexing, and free space optics for optical control. This has allowed the device size to be reduced to one-fifth that of a free space optics device. Moreover, there are fewer parts and assembly and tuning are simplified. Now, I'll look at how the power and phase of the optical signals are controlled. The input WDM signal is divided into different wavelengths using an arrayed waveguide grating, or AWG, before reaching a liquid crystal and a mirror. When the liquid crystal is transparent, the optical signal is reflected from the mirror and returns to the AWG. Alternatively, by reducing the transparency of liquid crystal, we can attenuate the optical signal. By doing so, we can make the optical signal strength uniform. Also, by using a very fine liquid crystal to accurately control the phase of the optical signal, it is possible to compensate for chromatic dispersion, thus allowing optical pulses that have spread out owing to dispersion of the optical fiber to be restored to their original form. Combining these two characteristics provides simultaneous control of both power and phase of the optical signal actively. We have already demonstrated that we can utilize devices such as a wavelength blocker or a multi-channel tunable dispersion compensator, a technology previously unthinkable. We will continue to improve the performance of WDM systems by using PLC and free space optics hybrid technology.